Yep. Okay. Here we go. Five, four. There we go. All right. You can win over five hundred thousand dollars of a turn of a card on Card Sharks. And if you play your cards right, you could win a brand new car. And now the host of Card Sharks, Michael Bombardier. Hello, everyone. Hello, Dante. <laughs> Welcome, everybody at home. Welcome to, Welcome to a brand new season of Card Sharks on, on the Game Show Lounge. We have an exciting share today. We got, we got a whole lot of money to give away. And hopefully, someone can drive out of here in a brand new car. So, let's open up the board and get to the cards. And we are starting our match with these two card sharks. Samuel and Bowling, how are you? Uh, I'm good. Dante, it seems like you're wearing that dress again. What's up with that? Oh my god. <laughs> here we go with okay. the dresses again. Do you take this man to be all of the Oh my no. You were wearing it on Press Your Luck, and now you're wearing it here. Samuel Huell from, from Geneva, right? Yes, that is correct. Geneva, Minnesota? You're so thrilled to have you here. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hello, my name is Samuel Huell. I am from Geneva, Minnesota, and I'm currently an 11th grader at NRHEG High. That is, well, that is awesome to hear. And what do you hope you need to do at, for a career? Um, I'm not sure, but I have come to figure that out. So. Well, yes, you do have some time to think about it. Good luck to you. Hi, Bowling. Thank you. Why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Don't mean to put you on the spot, Bowling, but... <clears throat> so... That's it, alright? Alright. Then you know, Bowling, go back to the both of you. Now here's how. How we play our game, each of you. has a deck of 52 playing each of you. As a deck of 52 playing cards, they have been shuffled and cut before the program. Samuel, you want our coin toss, so you'll be playing with the red cards. Falling, you'll be playing with the blue cards. The object of the game is to predict whether the next card is higher or lower than the one preceding it. First player, first player to turn over the last card correctly wins the game, wins $10,000, and will play the money cards for a chance of a whole lot of money plus. Possibility of dropping out of here in a brand new car, all right? But in order to control of the cards, you must answer. You must want a high low toss of questions. Sam, you you won the coin toss, so the first question goes to you. Okay. We surveyed 100 third graders, and we asked them, "Will your best friend still be your best friend when you're grown-ups?" How many third graders said their best friend will still be their best friend when they're grown-ups? I am going to go right in the middle and say 50. Go well, right in the middle and say 50. Foley, do you think it's going to be higher or lower than 50? It's going to be higher. I think it's going to be higher. The actual number of third graders said their best friend will still be their best friend when they're grown ups is 88. Really much higher. Foley, you won the question. You have the right to change your base card, and your opening, and your opening card is. Okay, real good. Go lower than that king. Lower than a king, a seven. Kind of in the middle. Oh, right in the middle. Seven, seven. Um, I'm gonna freeze. You're gonna freeze there. Not letting Samuel have any crack of the cards whatsoever. Since you froze, let's so go on to the next question. And then bowling, this next question's for you. This is a general knowledge question, so listen carefully. What percentage of current female U.S. Senators were once Girl Scouts? There is no reason I know that at all. Uh, 25? I'm not sure. 25%. 25%, you say. Do you think it's going to... Samuel, do you think it's higher or lower than 25? Can you, re 
Can you repeat the question? What percentage of current female U.S. senators were once Girl Scouts? Polling said 25. Do you think it's going to be higher or lower than 25? Uh, hmm. Have to be higher, right? Like. So you're going to say higher. higher. So you're it saying higher. higher. Yes, I'm saying higher. The actual percentage of current female U.S. senators that were once Girl Scouts is 72. Really much higher. It's my opening card. Your first pack of the cards with a five. Oh. Higher. Higher than a five. A nine. Freeze. You're going to freeze on that nine? Not letting... Only play off that seven. Samuel, you get our next question. Samuel, we surveyed 100 men. I thought I heard Dante say take. I thought I heard Dante say take a break, but no, no, no. All right, all right. Samuel, we surveyed 100 men and we asked them, "Do you wish you were taller?" Is it really important? It looks like I'm gonna have to sue the writers after this. <laughs> how many? How many? Said they do wish they were taller. How many? Oh, say they said they wish to be taller. No, how many? How many men said they do wish they were taller? Oh. Can't be that many, but it also can't be. Too high either. I'm going to go with 57. On 57 out of 100 men. Oh, do you think it's going to be higher or lower than 57? Oh, I'm going to say higher. I'm going to say it's higher. The actual number of men who said they do wish they were taller is 39. It is not higher, it is lower. Samuel, you got an eye now. You can change. I'm going to change. I don't like having numbers in the middle. All right, you're going to get rid of that nine. The nine now becomes a jack. Lower. Lower than a jack. A ten. Oh, by one. Okay. Lower. Lower than a ten. No. Oh. Back to the... Daniel goes back to the jack and bowling with a free chance at a seven. Lower. Oh, going against the odds. Uh, lower than a seven, a five. Ah, higher. Higher than a five, a jack. Lower than a jack. Oh, no. Oh, come on. All the way. All the way. Play back to the seven. There you go. Oh, man. Both. Both. <laughs> Competitors, competitors, go back to their, their base cards. You have two more cards. We do have two more cards for Samuel. And we do have well, three more cards for bowling. Oh, oh tough break right there. No one made progress, and the next question goes to bowling. We surveyed 100 women in their 50s, and we asked them, Do you have a tattoo? How many, How many women in their, in their 50s, 50s, 50s said they do have a tattoo? Eight, You're saying 35. Samuel, Samuel, higher or lower than 35? Higher. You're saying it's higher than 35. 35. The actual number of women in their 50s who said they do have a tattoo is 21. It is not higher, but it's oh. lower. Samuel, oh. honey, bowling, you got a 7. Now you can change. I thought it would have been like in the 40s. Only you got a seven now. You can change. You're gonna change out the seven. The seven now becomes a jack. You going lower? Lower than a jack. A three. Higher than a three. Oh no! Oh! 
goes back to the jack. Goes back to the jack. And Samuel with a free chance to the jack. Lower. Lower than a jack, a four. Higher. Higher than a four at eight. Freeze. You're going to freeze on the eight. It's right in that middle, which means we'll deal out two more cards for bowling. And folks, we are... And folks, we are now into sudden death. Someone must win on on this next turn of the cards. Whoever wins gets ten thousand dollars and will play the money cards. Samuel, this next question is for you. Okay. We surveyed one hundred married men, and we asked them, "Who usually picks out the clothes you put on in the morning, you or your wife?" How many men said their wife picks out their clothes? Ooh. Can't be that. Mm. Let's go. 42. You're going 42 out of 100. Bowling higher or lower than 42. You're, you're going to say it's lower than 42. The actual number of married men who is. Who said their wife picks out their clothes in the morning is 49. It is not lower. It is higher. Oh, I was actually very if you, if, By the way, if you you were seven off from getting a bonus of $5,000 there. Now, you do have an eight. Let's, let's, let's get you inside the scenario. This is sudden death, okay? Yeah. You can play and change. One mistake means bowling is the champion, but you can pass the bowling, which means he would have to play on that jack. And you know what? It's along the way. Then you be, then you will go on to the money cards. He has five. I have three. I'm going to pass it. All right, bowling. You got to play off the jack. This is sudden death. He'll either he'll either continue playing or leave us. Lower than a jack, a nine. No! You have to play right in the middle. You gotta play it. Lower. Lower than a nine. It's a queen. No! Okay, wow. Oh. Against the odds there. Bowling, I want to thank you so much for playing. You were, you were great to have on our show. We got some lovely party gifts for you. So long now. Samuel, come on over here. You just won yourself ten thousand dollars. Alright. Oh. Let's take let's take a break. We'll, we'll take a break and when we come back we'll we'll see if Samuel will can break the bank and our and our money cards right after this. Are we on? Not yet. Now we're on. Go. Go ahead. Welcome back to Card Sharks. I'm here with our champion Samuel who just won ten thousand dollars. And now, he has a chance to win a whole lot more in our money cards. Now, Samuel, that $10,000 is yours to keep no matter what happens, but we're going to give you $10,000 in new Betty money in our money cards. So let's deal with okay. how about now. Now, based on the, now, based on my cuts, we're going to deal out seven, the top seven cards in the deck, okay? Okay. And you're going to wager on these money cards. Minimum bets are a thousand dollars until you get to the very last card. That's where you must bet at least half of your money. Okay. Okay. All right. And by the way, if if at any time you and we've we've also added two jokers into the deck. If you should unbit one of them, it'll give you a chance driving out of here in that car. And for me. If we're making it to the money cards, we are going to give you a joke for free, okay. guaranteeing you a chance at the, at that car. Here's ten thousand dollars. Choice of two base cards on the first card, and of course you can change only one of them. Yeah, well, only one of them. I'm here. With ten thousand dollars, you start with a king. Real good. All in on lower. Oh, oh, nine. We are talking about. Uh, Twenty thousand dollars or zip. I was throwing one card higher than a king. It is. Jack. 
Cool, you have scarily close. Dollars. Let me. Here is twenty thousand in chips. Here is another ten thousand in chips. You now have twenty thousand dollars, and you've got a jack. Okay. Let's go 10,000 on lower. You're risking half that it's lower. I like the strategy. $10,000 lower than a jack. It's a nine. Up to 30,000 dollars. Okay. Now it is one of the middle cards of the deck, but you can change it out. Oh. You know what? Let's go another 10,000 on lower. Risking 10,000 on a nine. I love your guts. Let's just hope this will be either 40,000 or 20,000. Lo uh, Ten thousand dollars lower than a jack, lower than a nine. It's an eight, but okay. that's a great card, though. Yeah, well played. All it on lower. The full twenty thousand. It has to be lower. Full twenty thousand, and it's lower. Twenty thousand lower than an ace. There is a joker. We told you about it just before. We'll put it right there. Now you have two chances at the card. Very important card to turn over. We'll replace that card. Let's recap the bet. You have 20000 and we're going all lower, right? Yes, all in on lower. It has to be lower. Just 20, don't show another ace. Than an ace. It is a deuce. All in on higher. I don't even bother asking. This will be the. This will be forty. You have. Hold on. You have forty thousand, and you're going higher, right? All, All in higher. on higher. All in on higher. Has to be higher. Just don't show another two. Pull up another two. Comes out, you know it's a push, right? Yeah. Yeah. Twenty thousand dollars lower than it is. It is an eight. Okay. I haven't used my change yet, so I'm going to change that eight, please. Alrighty. Let me just get you your chip. So okay. You're up. All right. All right. You're up to eighty thousand dollars, and you want to change out the eight, right? Yes, I want to change out the eight for another card. Real, this is your one and only change. You, yeah, you, you must bet at least half of your bank on this on this next one, okay? The eight has now become a six. Okay. Now you must bet at least. Now, now, you have 80,000. 80, you must bet at least 40. Okay. Let's go 40,000 on higher. Well, it's. I think it's a safe bet to go half higher on higher. I mean, this would take it to 120,000, I believe. But right now, for you, let's add another over... Let's add another forty thousand dollars. Be there higher. Yes. One hundred and twenty thousand dollars. That's the most important thing right there. You have a hundred and twenty thousand dollars. When you add it to the 10,000, you now have 130,000. Congratulations to you. Thank you. And 
And you did turn over an extra Joker. Now you turned over an extra Joker, which means you two chances at the car. Okay. Let me let me get the car. Let me get the car card set up, all right? Okay. Right. You have two Joker. You have one hundred thirty thousand dollars, and you and you turn over an extra Joker, but which is a really important card to turn over. Yeah. I have the car cards in my hand. Okay, I'm gonna okay. shuffle these out. They are labeled one through one through seven. All you have to do is place the Joker in front of the in the card that. that that says the word car. If you do that, then this is the car that you will win. Tell them about it, Dante. I sure will, Michael. It's the 2021 Volvo VXC90 Momentum. It comes with a 2 liter 4 cylinder engine, 25 combined MPG, front wheel drive, and four door. So, the 2021 Volvo XC90. Good luck. Ooh. How much is the car worth? 49. Thousand dollars. Forty-nine thousand. Wow. All right. We have cards labeled one through seven. God. Yeah, and you have two jokers. Of the of of those seven, which two would you like to place your jokers on? I'll leave my camera over here. Okay. Let's place one of the jokers on card number three. All right, we have number three, and which one would you like next? Let's do... Number... Five. Go on. We're number five. Who are numbers? Any particular reason for three? Not really. Not really. I just got placed it somewhere, and there you go. Let's take yeah. a look. There's the word car behind number three. No. Oh. We go to number five. It's fine. Still a one, still a one in six, now, which is basically I have a dice roll. All of you that this is the first show of our new season, so it would be really nice to go out on bay. The odds here are absolutely phenomenal that you're going to see car. <laughs> Yeah. You have yeah. just won a new car. Who? When we add it to the hundred thirty thousand you just won, that gives you a one day total of one hundred seventy nine thousand dollars, and you get to come back on our next show to face a challenge. To face a challenger. My name is Mike Bombardier. We'll see you all in the next edition of Car Sharks. Bye bye, everyone.